Hello, everybody. Well, this is that it's time for another course prediction video. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, last week there wasn't really much to talk about, <laughs> so I didn't. I skipped. I skipped the prediction. So, but now I'm back. Fine, back again. <laughs> Uh, because we have really two great fights, both in the welterweight division. Uh, potentially, they are great matchups, yeah. Well, let's start first with the somewhat smaller one of those two. Jared Boutsanis is fighting Royman Villa, who was the guy who... Not that long ago, upset the Apple Car by beating uh, Rashid Yelis. Yeah, that was in uh, January. All right. So we are a Venezuelan fighter. Twenty-six, one and zero oh, with twenty-four knockouts. So he's only got one loss, which was a split decision loss away in Me Mexico against Marcos Villasana Jr. Yeah, so you know the thing about Venezuelan fighters, they are very, very dedicated, very, very motivated and dedicated. And why? Because, you know, because of the situation in their country, so difficult, they know that it's their only way to, you know, get away and make a better life for themselves. So pretty much like all other fighters that come from troubled countries. And who are rather poor also now anyway yeah, yeah anyway uh so <clears throat> i was very impressed by Vera in the alice fight i didn't really know him before and uh yeah but he managed to offset alice after alice first did very well in the first half of the fight but uh, then uh, we dropped dropped him and uh started really you know, asserting himself in the uh, especially in the last half of the fight so uh yeah uh and uh, jaron ennis you know uh he was very promising i mean there is still a lot of a lot of expectations that were built around him definitely for a while he was really knocking out everybody so uh, he knocked out uh, sergey lipin at stonas dolorme castro clayton yeah so uh however in his last fight against karen chukajian which was actually this, on the same date as uh, vias fight with alice and uh, he uh so they must be promoted by the same company. <laughs> he didn't do that well. I mean, he didn't really, despite the judges giving him all the rounds, uh, he didn't really look that great, you know. Uh, so now he has something to prove in this fight. You know. He's the taller guy by three inches, actually. He also has a very long reach of 74 inches and uh, that is four inches uh, more than Vias reach so yeah he's got pretty you know strong advantages in this fight definitely and also has the power as I said while Atvia is a really you know guy that it's hard to stop. I mean, you know, he just will come forward. He'll come at you until you knock him out, you know. So that's what Tennis will have to do, probably, to win. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, it can get tough, you know. And, uh, yeah. Even though he's a, a much bigger name still uh, than uh, Villa, but who only has one, one bigger victory so far. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see this going uh, like, you know, wh whoever wins, it will be a slugfest, I think, definitely. But Ennis should use his reach and high advantage to set up, you know, the perfect punch or punches to to knock out Villa if that can be done, you know. 
We have seen like a tough guy, very of these guys from those countries are really tough and but still with the right combination, right punch from the right angle at the right time, most people can be knocked out by a guy who has the power and which Chinese has. But anyway, this will be a hard fight to win for Vira, even on points, you know. And yeah, so uh, I said Vira also can hit very well, but uh, his last two fights he won both points against uh, unbeaten guys, you know. So before that he was knocking out guys that were, you know, not that great in the so but uh, we've seen that he can hit definitely from the Rashidi Ellis fight even though he didn't put Ellis away but I mean Ellis is a a slick guy and, and a fast guy so what I expect is actually this will probably also go the distance I don't know if Ellis can really knock this guy out but if he does it will be a major statement of course but uh, I think uh, Ennis will likely win the points here. Alright, so moving on to the big, really big fight. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is something that I've really been looking forward to, you know. This is Mr. Virgil Ortiz Jr. This is Eman Tastanionis. Old guys, I'm unbeaten. <laughs> Ortiz has all knockouts, so he's 19 wins, they are all by knockout. He stopped the countryman of Stanyolis in 2021, Kavaliauskas. He knocked out Maurice Hooker, Samuel Vargas, Michael McKinson. So yeah, the kid can fight, he can <laughs> punch, uh, yeah. Well, Stanion is he's not really that hard a puncher. He's more like a hard-working, you know, tough guy. He does have some power, definitely. Has scored some knockouts, but uh, against better opponents, I mean. But uh, he's not really a guy who <clears throat> wins high profile fights by knockout. So his best chance is here to... <laughs> outbox and outwork you know focus on boxing to outbox and outwork Ortiz Jr. yeah definitely uh, <clears throat> Ortiz Jr. of course his best chance <laughs> the way he wins always is by knocking guys out but I think this time it will, might get a little tougher than before you know anyway uh, yeah, because he's fighting a really... Because Kavaliauskas was all already, you know, quite kind of shop one by the time Vertiz, uh, sorry, Virgil Ortiz for him. While uh, Stanionis is, you know, just kind of getting started for real, you know, he's 14, only 14 fights, you know, into his career, so this is his 15th. And it's for a WBA title, which actually Stanionis holds when he won it by beating Raja Butayev in a tough fight, you know, where he had to overcome a, an opponent who really is, you know, dangerous, uh, hard hitter, all that tough guy, strong. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this gives a... Uh, a good, I think it gives him good chances against uh, Ortiz because he's proven that he can tangle with a guy like that, a destroyer, you know, type, and come out on top. Uh, yeah, but still, Ortiz is just, you know, has been just amazing so far. So, <laughs> yeah, I think probably. <laughs> The thing is, uh, if 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 Stanionis gets drawn in a dog fight, you know, in exchanges, then he will lose definitely, no doubt. He will get stopped by Ortiz. 
but if he manages to stay out of too many exchanges just keep it on the outside you know box box jab jab then of course he can win but he will have to do a lot of moving and running and boxing yeah he should not even consider trading <laughs> trading Ortiz Jr. that will be fatal for him definitely so uh yeah without saying much more i don't know of course there is a chance that stanionis can also upset the apple car and but uh only if he can stay away from of course the punches of virgil ortiz if he can box clever like he did against butaya otherwise he will just be another you know knockout victim of uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr. So yeah, I think this either will happen, uh, but having seen what Ortiz has done before to these really solid fighters, you know, I mean, these guys are no joke still, you know, even Kavalyowska said only one loss, and Maurice Hooker also, yeah, Mauricio Herrera, I don't know really, I think it will be a really good competitive fight, but uh, eventually probably Ortiz will get better of, uh, of Stanionis like in ninth or 10th round, because he's just amazing, that, that guy, that kid, you know, wow, he's, you know, can't wait to see him fight, you know, guys like, I mean, also Jared Ennis, for instance, or even the winner of Crawford suspense, of course, that should happen eventually. So yeah, there you have it. That was the prediction round for this week. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Hope you will, you know, take something from this. Anyway, all right. Have a good, have a good week. See you. Bye.